dahil yung tatalakay natin ngayon ay yung separation of the church, the power of church the and state. also in the state. Yes, and to what extent ang kanilang mga rights and privileges. Ngayon, Kuya Mark, ano-ano ba ang mga guarantees na sinasaad sa ating saligang batas tungkol sa relihiyon? Oh, ito yung tinatawag na freedom of religion. So ano yung tinatawag na freedom of religion? Kasi if you read yung ating saligang batas, MJ Hilala, What is the freedom of... Jane. Ah, no, sorry, Jane. Sorry, Jane. Kuya. Kamukha, kamukha kasi si MJ. So, it's Jane eh, Lala. So, ano ba yung tinatawag na freedom of religion? Sabi ng batas, ha? No law, walang batas mm. na dapat ipasa. Respecting a religion. Or the prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Dapat walang batas na na magbibigay ng respeto sa religion. But, mm. and also, no law prohibiting religion. Ibig sabihin, dapat hiwalay ang state and yung ating religion. Oh. That's why may word na ginamit sa batas yung tinatawag na non-establishment clause. Oh. Ibig sabihin doon, there's the, the enjoyment of religious freedom and profession mm. without any discrimination or preference shall forever be allowed. So, ibig sabihin, may forever in ah. religion. Ayun. Mm. Ibig sabihin, the right to believe, mm. the right to exercise one's belief, shall forever be allowed. Dapat hindi ipagbawal yan ng ating government. Or dapat ang ating gobyerno hindi hadlang mm. sa ating paniniwala. Tama. In fact, nakalagay po sa ating saligabatas, there should be no religious test in the exercise of a civil and political rights. Ang ibig sabihin doon, dapat walang batas na sasabi na dapat uh, kristyano ka lang bago ka makaboto. Dapat muslim ka lang bago para ka makaboto walang ganun kasi separation of church and state there should be no religious test in the exercise of a civil and political rights